Hey guys, it's Danny here. How you doing? Um, I'm gonna be doing a video tonight on a bed adhesive. Like I've noticed, there's not a lot of videos on uh, like taping or using hairspray or using glue stick. So I'm gonna go through a video and make a quick uh, video for you guys on how to use your glue stick or how to use your uh, how to use your hairspray or how to use uh, tape on your so just hang in there with me and we'll get it done hey guys so I got three products you can use here on your 3d printer Aquanet painters tape I now you can use any glue stick you want. I get the purple kind that, that's invisible. Um, it's just Elmer's. They got it's purple, but other companies sell it too. Sometimes when you buy certain types of uh, filament, it'll come with it. But I was sitting the other day and I, I thought, well, I need to watch a video on how to properly put down bed adhesion because the uh, the best one that I've seen there's two guys that do it but the other one than that is a 3d printing professor and he does a good job at it and I learned from him so I thought I'd get another video out there and uh and you know let everybody see how, how to do this stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and get this get this on for you so what you're going to want to do you do not want to get that hairspray on your 3d printer so i'm only doing this because i'm making the video and i don't have any space but what you're going to want to do is pop your pop your 3d printer or your glass off or whatever you got all on whatever you use. Now I'm just going to pull this out. I get, make sure you disable your steppers. I'm going to pull this out like this. Now, let me see if I can't move you around a little bit because I really don't want to do that near my printer. And don't mind my mess. I'm making tables. so right, That's what I was saying. I do, you know, my show is going to be a little bit about everything. So, okay, you take your glass like so. And you just do a, a real good, you want it on there really thick. When you see the, when you see it, you want it to be almost back turned to, turn clear and you put so much on there. Can you see it? Okay. You just don't want to get this on your printers because it will mess them up on the inside. Okay, you see how much I got on there? It's good and coated, it's almost clear again. So you want to let that dry. I'm going to set this down and let it dry. I'm going to set it on my chair. So it can start drying. I don't want it dripping on my printer. Okay. Now. Next. I'm going to do this one. On this one, I'm going to do glue. What you're going to want to do, and you can leave that on here. The glue's okay. Uh, well, let me show you the tape first. That way... I got another bed around here somewhere. Let me get it out of here. It's getting dusty where I've been cutting wood out here. So, okay, the proper way, I just want to make sure that you can see. Is it going to stay? It's got a spring on my tripod and it's moving around. Okay. So, the proper way is to. Take your, take your tape, make sure, all right, there's already a piece on there. You want to take it and be very careful. And I go down, I rub it a few times, make sure it's, it's good and uh, on there. You want to let that glue get on the bed and stick real good. And then I just tear it for the time being. Now, on your next one. Yeah, I'm not saying you have to be perfect. Nobody's perfect. But try your best not to get them to overlap. 
Your next one is gonna go like that. Just rub it in good. And then just tear it. So you got two pieces, it's like that. Then you're gonna wanna take another one. I if you hold it like at a 45 degree angle, you can it'll the edge will touch the other edge. It'll just butt up against it. And then just rub it really good. Get it really smooth. Like so. And then. And it'll work on any surface. Any of these will work on any surface. Any of these. Any If you have just a normal uh, factory bed from from uh, Creality that comes with the... the uh, like my V2 came with a glass bed, but, and I bought a glass bed for this one, but if you just got a regular bed that, that's that, that uh, I don't even know, it's, it's like Rhino liner, <laughs> that material, then that's fine too. Just take it, turn it at an angle, like so, and then just tear it. What bothers me is there's a lot of tape waste. And then on that very last piece, you wanna butt it up and let it hang over, like so. And just rub your tape on there really good. Now, if you're doing it, I'm not gonna cut with a with a with a knife on my on my printer top. But as you can see, that tape's hanging over. So I got a pair of scissors right here. Take your scissors, and I just go along the edge until I get to that very tip piece. Now, if you see any more hanging over, it's okay. Like, they say not to let it hang over, but, like, I mean, I've never had a problem on it. I just, I just uh, make sure it's stuck good, because if it's not, it'll flip up and your tape will come up, so. Or you can continue cutting it off. And make sure you get it all really good. A razor blade is the best thing to use, but I'm not gonna, I don't really have any table to use right now because I got uh, my new coffee table I'm building. I got it drying where I stained it, so I can't, I don't want to be on that cut either. So, but okay, so basically all you're gonna do is with the part that's hanging over, just take your scissors. And I know you guys know how to cut, but I'm just showing you just in case, because sometimes you have questions and you don't want to mess it up. Okay, so I got that side good. All of it just taken. Press it down with your fingers. Now, same thing over here. I'm left-handed, but I cut right-handed, so. But basically, get this tape off of here. And, I haven't made a video. I've been trying to get stuff done for Christmas. That's why I haven't. I've been kind of busy with making those tables and stuff. So it's been like eight-hour days on the tables. So I haven't been. And and I've been using my 3D printer to make like a tabletop fastener. So, but generically, it's going to look like this. It's coming up a little bit, but look, it's going to. Hold over. The main thing is, your build plate, you want it to be flat. I mean, you've been, everybody's been told that time and time again. I don't need to beat a dead horse, but, so it needs to be like that. It's, it's, uh, if I got it up too high, I think I had it up there, but right here, it needs to be like that. Flat. If it overlaps a little bit, it's okay. It ain't gonna kill your print. It might leave like, an uneven line so try to get it the best you can but right here it's okay it's not hurting anything and like when your print comes out it'll be okay try not to get the yellow tape like i did because the heat causes that yellow to come off so hey guys so i'm going to show you real quick how to heat your pteg so you go to ABS, there's no other button. You hit preheat ABS. 
240 and 70. You're gonna wanna run it at that. That's that's the 10. And then on this one, I already got it preheating. It's just a plain. I got I got PLA plus filament on there. It's just a plain. Just running it to 185. Now I try to my you gotta figure your machine out too. Like my machine on this one, it always if I, for some reason, the nozzle bumps up against the bed and there's no, I've done everything I can to fix it. So, but I just raise it up to six, get it up off the bed high enough. And, uh, and just it, see it and then it's got enough clearance to where it's not rubbing the bed. That way filament ain't jamming the nozzle. Cause it kept jamming my nozzle. I'm like, what is going on? And it was, it was, the tip was touching the bed. But guys, that's a quick, guys and ladies, sorry. That's a quick tutorial on how to do that, like good bed adhesion with hairspray, with glue, and with tape. And if anybody has any questions about it, just don't be afraid to shoot me a comment. And, you know, it, it helps if you guys can give me some, get subscribe and, and hit the like button you know this goes a long way to be me being able to help you guys make these videos so i can help you guys you know with the questions you have so all right guys see you later bye